in the last video we have seen introduction discovery and principle of gram staining click here to watch the full video today we will continue the gram staining technique i am dr sharad deshmukh from sh jaiswal college arjuni morgaon in the last lecture we have seen about the principle and mechanism of the gram staining today we will continue the methodology of the gram staining let us see the different steps first you have to prepare the smear from the given culture on a clean grease free slide and fix it by the heat so you should have the in the ready form heat fix smear then the first step is the primary staining with the crystal violet so cover the smear with crystal violet and allow to act it for 1 minute in the next step you have to wash the slide in the tap water and allow to wash up the color in the second step you have to add the grams iodine solution and allow it to act for 1 2 3 minutes maximum 3 minutes then after adding the mordant that is the grams iodine that will form the crystal violet iodine complex in the bacterial cell and you have to wash it after the 3 minutes under the tap water now next step is the most important step after the application of the iodine that is the decolorization step it is the, it is done with the 95% of the alcohol and you have to add the alcohol very carefully drop by drop till the last drop oozing from the smear is the colorless that indicate that the decolorization is complete so this is the most important step which decide the gram character of the bacteria and it must be performed with very carefully then as soon as the decolorization is complete you have to immediately wash with the tap water it will stop the decolorization if it is allowed to uh, for further time then it may go on the excess of the decolorization then after washing with the water then you have to go for the counter staining and the counter stain use is the safranin and cover the smear with the safranin and allow to act for 1 minute maximum 1 minute generally the 30 second is used for maximum you can use the 1 minute next step is again wash the smear with the tap water and allow to dry in air or alternatively you can blot dry with the help of the filter paper and then your smear is ready to observed under the oil immersion lens of the microscope that is the compound microscope when you observe under the compound microscope under the oil immersion lens you may able to see the two types of the results that is either the smear may be stain violet in color then the bacteria are referred as the gram positive you will also able to see the shape of the bacteria and origin of the bacteria then second result you may have the red color stain bacterial cells and that are referred as the gram negative bacteria so in this way you can differentiate the gram positive and gram negative bacteria that's why it is called as the differential staining technique in this staining technique you can see the initially the smear fix having the colorless bacterial cells and when you go for the primary stain with crystal violet all the cells will take the crystal violet when you add the iodine the all the cell will take the iodine and that will form the crystal violet iodine complex now the next important step is the decolorization which decide the gram character of the bacteria in case of the gram positive bacteria it will retain the violet color it do not get decolorized while in the another uh, you can see here the bacteria get colorless that is they lose the primary stain that is the crystal violet iodine complex and get decolorized now those cells get decolorized they will take the counter stain and they will appear red in color and in the first case those do not get decolorized they will retain the primary color uh, stain that is the crystal violet and they will appear as the violet in color that is the basic principle behind the gram staining there are several modifications of the gram staining so first is the kaflor bearman modification where the primary stain uses the methyl violet and decolorizer is the acetone or acetone alcohol mixture while the second one is the jensens he used the primary stain as a methyl violet and decolorizer is the absolute alcohol and counter stain he used as a neutral red the third one is the preston and morel 
primary stain used in his method is the crystal violet and declarizer is iodine acetone mixture, not the alcohol. And final one that is a Vegard. He used the primary stain that is the carbol gentian violet, that is the phenolic solution of the gentian violet. And declarizer he used is the aniline xylol, that is particularly this method is used to stain the tissue sections for demonstration of the bacteria. This was regarding the gram staining technique or methodology. We will continue the remaining part or other staining technique in the next lecture. Thank you. Subscribe for more content related to microbiology.